What's good YouTube? It's your boy for Ben coming back y'all with another video and before we get into it I want to say sorry about not being consistent. I only uploaded one video last week Um doing a lot of my school shit and I'm having to catch up with my schoolwork, but um Yeah, but that means let's get right into it. So basically my defense is match Well, you'll see but basically before you um actually choose your play for defense You're gonna want to turn auto flip off put play ball on pl Put ball in air defense on play ball. I always call it play ball defense because I mean that's why I put it on every time. And your option defense is want to be on conservative because you want your zone drops to be on default or when you run match. So the flats will actually match. Um, under formation, under three three five. I already have my stuff set up, but uh, where my safeties want to be. And I have my edge rushers, and then I have safeties over here at linebacker, how it should be. But then you want to come to 335. You're going to want to change tempo to with cover three mic blitz. And you want to take cover three buzz and change it with cover four show two. And cover four show two is one form of um match coverage. Match coverage is obviously cover um four with palm with quarter flats or palms um but you're gonna come out in nickel three three five and then over here we're gonna come out in gun bunch this also is a very good spread defense let me also um add that so we're gonna go against let's just go against flood right so what you're gonna do you come here you're gonna audible down to cover for show two you're gonna press your defense then what you're gonna do you're gonna blitz your user you're gonna spy your safeties l1 and triangle sometimes it flips and then you're gonna put this dude on the outside right here with your linebacker adjustments square you're gonna put him in a vertical hook this is why i really like three three five match because you can get that vertical hook right there and you can't get that in a lot of other packages like you can't get that in big nickel two four five I don't think they're smashing anything else but 335 wide and 245 and big nickel. I'm not sure I haven't checked. And then also what you want to do is slant your defense inside in case there's any like inside zone or halfback draw or anything like that, even base. And as you see, plays it very well. That was kind of open, but you're obviously gonna use her down on that. And also something else you can do, you can come down to Mike Blitz 3. I like switch around what I do and I'll blitz my slot cornerback. I'll man this up. So like that. Then you're gonna Oh. And then I like to have something that looks like this. Or instead of having that cornerback on the outside man up, you also put him in a hard flat. And your blitz will look like this and nothing will get open in time for him to throw the ball um, i'm gonna run through it again and then sometimes i'll just leave it like that with a deep half and then i'll just cover over the middle your blitz will usually get there pretty quickly um the flat was obviously wide open because i didn't shade underneath And then shade underneath and you should get some pretty quick pressure as long as you take away any like very quick reads and you'll get quick pressure um and then back to this match over four sometimes i'll only deep half the the bunch side and then I'll have this dude in. I always put this dude in a vertical hook. I've never put him in a seam flat. I've never put him in a curl or hard flat. It's always a vertical hook. Or I'm manning him up. You can also put him on a bluff blitz. 
and, gl and get really glitchy with it because this three rec hook will act like a second user and it'll guard anything across the middle where the vertical hook as you see only has that one little section of the middle of the field to the side that the vert hooks on and always put this dude on a, on a bluff blitz get his three rec hook and it's basically your second user and you see everything was bagged everything was in a bag there was nothing that could have got open on that play everything was in a bag so you're switching up from zone to a heavy coverage look blessing your user and if they're starting to roll out a lot um just by your defensive tackle or whoever and slant inside just in case they want to um run the ball you will have some pretty good shoots and you're gonna also want to make sure you have at least one inside stuff and you're gonna that you something like that will usually not happen but you're gonna want to guard the out route on the bunch side which that's on the out route once again mix in a little bit of pressure shade underneath deep half the um single side receiver the single side safety by single side i mean the bunch side that has the single receiver you're gonna deep half that safety i usually keep him on that i usually keep this cornerback like this or either i will deep half him and you can also outside quarter him but i usually deep half him well obviously there's a bunch of different adjustments you do but i usually deep half just to get a little cover two hybrid going on and my friend will snap the ball and you're gonna get quick pressure at the quarterback um the wrong shit so when you blitz it's gonna look something like this and most of the times i'll leave that outside third because my pressure will get there before something get open down the field um, but this defense works really well versus bunch because if they don't if the quarterback doesn't throw the ball while um if the quarterback doesn't throw the ball as the running backs releasing or whatever he does you're gonna get instant pressure like i say once you play flood you're always going to be looking out for the out route um Chandler Jones is getting a lot of pressure like I said just move between always move between your blitzing and your coverage you don't want to stick in like hard like a lot of coverage every play because then they're just gonna start running the ball and then like I said again you're gonna be watching the out route make sure that doesn't get open the blitz comes in nine out of ten times the blitz will come in before they can get a read open and this is how i like my blitz to look unless you slant inside i like slanting inside especially versus people who do run the ball occasionally like i like you're seeing the blitz is coming in time after time i'm gonna run some coverage to show you the coverage again This is what the coverage will look like or it's going to look like this once again um bluff blitz acts like a second user if you want your second user but if you like vertical hooks more to guard like in routes you know you can have the vertical hook vertical hooks are really good um i'm just going to throw bluff blitz for my second user um waver them a snap and like if there's someone running the flood this works versus flood you gotta you have to guard the out route though um and that little curl it's not gonna happen too much most people either block that or put them on a flat so if that happens you know just put him in a vertical hook or a hard flat if you notice and they're just spamming that 
So this is what my defense will look like in case, unless I deep path both sides. So I'm playing like spread or tight, I'll deep path both sides, but I'm not playing that right now. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then everything will usually match up. And as long as you have pretty good edge rushers, you'll get instant pressure. Um, but that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'm out. Mm -hmm.